Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to make a quick video just kind of reflecting on, I guess, my journey so far and talking a little bit about B12 and just a little bit of how I was focused on all these different things uh, when I first got the concussion because I got, I got blood tests or I got a blood test and I was like, I had been thinking about B12 for a while cause I hadn't, hadn't really been supplementing and I was like, oh, I've been vegan for a while. Like I should probably check it. And then I checked it and not only was my B12 low, but my thyroid was low. And so I kind of just, I, I had been experiencing these new symptoms that were totally from the concussion and like they're 100% from that, but I didn't really know like at that moment. And I was just, the feelings were so severe and they get, can be so severe that I just was freaking out. Like I was becoming disabled and I didn't know what was going on. And when I started to look at B12 deficiency, I saw that people could kind of become disabled and this sort of thing. And so I was focusing on that and I made that, I made a video talking about how I may have irreversible damage because of B12 deficiency and that video, I don't know, like looking back on it, I understand where I was at that point and I, I was totally scared of what was happening to me and yeah, I was totally, I was totally scared of what was happening to me and so I was just trying to figure out what was causing it. And I found that my B12 was low, so maybe that was causing it. And it turned out that after I replaced my B12, and even after my, my B12 has been continuously at good levels, uh, ever since I did replacement therapy and started taking B12 supplements, like my B12 level has been fine, but the symptoms have not gone away. And so I guess I just wanted to make this video like, to not, to just being vegan or being 100% plant-based is definitely safe. Like sure, take B12 and probably take some vitamin D if you live in the freaking cold winter. Uh, but like that video that I made, looking back on it, it's like kind of was in this fear mode, like freaking out and it kind of put that message out there that, oh shoot, you, like this is serious. And it can be serious, but I just didn't, for my situation, that wasn't actually what was happening. And so, I'm just watching, there's some birds coming in, flying in hot, about to eat, eat some seeds. But um, yeah, so I, I guess I just wanted to make a video talking about that a little bit and also just kind of reflecting on what's been going on and like a year ago at this time I was still uh, I was still eating higher carb and stuff like that and it was super feeding the overgrown stuff and I was feeling super awful and like I wasn't able to do anything or go out and be with family or friends really. I was just in the house every single day on the couch all day and not doing any, not watching anything, not listening to anything, just no stimulation, nothing, not moving, not really exercising. And I mean, I couldn't really, like it was, it's super uncomfortable and physically I get super weak if I'm feeding that overgrown bacteria. And so it's like, I like I couldn't do a lot. Um, but now, like it took me a while to finally switch to do a lower carb diet, uh, or at least alt like figuring out that, okay, I handle certain things a little bit better and don't get certain symptoms while I do get other symptoms. And so I kind of, the last few months, I've basically stuck to eating a higher fat mostly, but when I've eaten carbs, I had been eating like 
either fruit juice or just some fruit. Um, but also, uh, lately I've been eating more black beans and I can tell I get more symptoms that are kind of disabling and my spatial awareness gets bad and I get really sensitive to sounds and so it's hard to talk to people. Uh, like I can tell that those symptoms start to come up if I'm eating certain foods and I'm not taking enough probiotics with it. Because the probiotics kind of like, the probiotics like protect the food and so that bad stuff doesn't really ferment it and cause the inflammation as bad. And so, yeah, it's, that's another thing. And uh, just another thing, like looking back at videos of me from like a year or a year and a half ago, is I was so much bigger. <laughs> like I've lost so much weight throughout this last year and a half. And it's just, it's always on my mind like well not always like when I'm feeling good and I'm like feeling like doing a lot of stuff it's not I don't really focus on it but I can definitely tell that there's a part of me that still like I want to put on some pounds by the time that it's like spring and summer so that I don't feel like I'm a prisoner of war when it's like I'm trying to be outside with my shirt off and being free like I don't like I don't want, like ultimately I don't, I don't really care, but I guess I care what other people might see, even though it really doesn't matter. But I, that, that's something that, bleh, that's something that is like happening in my brain. It's like, okay, if I can try to figure out a way to put on some pounds, that would be good, but I also don't. I don't want to just eat a lot of food and try to gain weight at, at the cost of me getting better and healing my gut. Because part of the reason why I've made progress and I've been able to do stuff and make more videos and have more mental clarity is because I've changed and eaten a higher fat diet uh, and been doing probiotics and antimicrobials. But also it's because I, throughout the last year and a half, I've like slowly lost weight and so I've gotten to a body weight that doesn't require as much calories to maintain even though I've it's tricky because when I'm doing more which I've been doing much more like I've been doing way more the last month or two than I've done the last year and because I've felt a little bit better changing my diet and doing probiotics and stuff like that but I can tell that I just keep getting skinnier and I'm and it's because I'm just not eating enough calories to maintain my weight but it's not like I'm I'm like never hungry like I don't have an appetite unless like I the last few days and weeks I've been doing intermittent fasting so I do get like after fasting for like 18 or 20 or 22 hours or whatever it's like all right I'm I'm kind of hungry like that happens, but it's not, I don't know. It's like my body, it feels to me that my body just needs to be in this consolidated mode, this shrunken mode to allow itself to heal. So I don't have to just pound in calories to maintain a, a normal weight. Cause that's honestly for the last couple of years or the last like year, two years before I even got the concussion, like, I would be eating so much food to maintain a normal weight, but it's like, I, it felt like I was eating so much food. Like, it just feels like my body didn't want to eat all that food and my body didn't really want or wasn't able to effectively and efficiently digest all that food. And my inner microbiome like probably is part of that. Like my body is just not very efficient at digesting things and so it's just it's just slow and or just weak and so yeah uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit I guess and bring those things up and do a little up I, I've been doing updates like every day uh, but yeah I think that's it there's some birds 
some birds over there. Or there's one bird. Two birds. They're just chilling in the backyard. And yeah, I took turpentine today again. And so that is five days in a row. I've done it one teaspoon of turpentine, one teaspoon of castor oil. And I think there's some benefits. I, I, I think that there's some removing that's going on. Nothing insane or dramatic. Maybe a little bit more mental clarity, but it's, it's not nothing like, whoa, like mind blowing. It's just, it's just an antimicrobial tool that I don't know. I'm going to take it until I get the new stuff um, for my new plan. And yeah, I'll try to show you these birds, but they're flying away. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. Peace. Come on, bird. Fly. He's over to the right in the bush. It's like over. It's over. Where's my hand? He's over. 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 Here. He's like right in there. Come on. Get in there. Eat your food. Eat your food. Eat your food, you fool. Eat your food. Oh, oh, got movement, but not movement in the right direction. Got some rain falling. Got some, nope, those are birds flying. Never mind. Oh, he's just chilling. Alright, this was a fail. No birds. Oh, he's over there. You can see him. Oh, right in that corner. You see him? He's chilling. Maybe I'll zoom it in. And move it. Oh, there he is. He's chilling. There he is. We found him. I'm the bird watcher. That's what I do. I just watch the birds do what they do. I rhyme the same words with the same words twice. And I'm not going to make a rhyme for that.